The bills take different approaches in addressing juvenile crime. There are lots of moving parts. And negotiators tell me the process involves taking the legislation apart and putting it back together again. I sat down with the chair yesterday for three hours. Uh, we went line by line uh, over the two bills and we've come, we're in a really good spot. We've been talking for quite a while, so I feel like we're in a decent place, but not quite there yet. House Judiciary Chair Luke Klippinger and Judicial Proceeding Committee Chair Will Smith are meeting in person by phone and text, trying to hammer out differences in the juvenile law reform bill. How young gun and car theft offenders enter the system is still on the table. The House prefers sending kids to a diversion program. The Senate mandates police file a petition to determine what services the offender and those in their family need. The Senate version uh, requires mandatory SINs petition for auto theft, and I'm very uh, strong on that point, and I think that's the right way to go. That's the challenge, is trying to figure out what would be there and trying to figure out what, what works best. And, and there's some concerns that I, I continue to have about the SINs, the Child in Need of Service pro process, that I, I think are difficult to uh, to fully address. Both sides have come to terms the state has to provide an alternative means to educate registered juvenile sex offenders. And they are close to agreeing on a start date and membership of a juvenile justice system oversight commission. They're also going to evaluate the juvenile justice system and make recommendations on improvement for programming. The focus of the commission I think is something that, that where we're coming to some consensus on. Still to be worked out what to do when kids on probation commit more crimes. And the two sides also disagree on addressing misdemeanor crimes. We want to make sure that the students and the youth are getting the supports that they need. Uh, so that's an element of further discussion. Really after we're done here, it's really only the beginning of the story because the ongoing challenge is, is what happens next, is, is how is the agency run, how are those services provided. Negotiators are confident the bill will move to the governor's desk in the next couple of weeks. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.